Traders, welcome to another mighty video today. As you can see from the talent thumbnail today, I committed one of the worst day trading mistakes when it comes to the microscoping strategy because this is a strategy that discipline, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Just I just fucked it up right at the beginning. I, I dug myself a $3,000 loss as you can see from the thumbnail. I started the morning by revenge trading. I started the morning by throwing humongous share size position into stocks that were not a quality stocks. I got myself so emotionally hijacked that I started to revenge trade Tesla. Yes, you heard that correctly. But I not only started to revenge trade it, I started to short sell it. What the fuck am I doing? Dude, it was one of the worst day trading sessions I've ever had, I've ever had because of how mentally hijacked I was. I was slamming the table. I was standing up and hitting my head against the wall. I was infuriated. I was revenge trading to the to to maximum capacity. And if it wasn't because of WHLR, today could have been easily, easily a max loss day. A max loss day, or even worse, a blow up day. I just broke so many rules, and the reason why I'm so disappointed in myself is because at the end of the day, I don't really care about the PL. I don't care whether if, if I'm up a thousand or down a thousand. What I truly want to to accomplish every single day is to show up and to follow my damn rules, to show up and to follow my damn strategy. That's all we should be really truly caring about because at the end of the day, we have to make ourselves 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 available to either collect our profits or pay our expenses. A red trade, a red day, isn't inherently wrong. Or is it inherently bad? What is bad is you breaking the rules, break, breaking your business plan. And that's exactly what I did today. Revenge traded. Didn't have longevity in mind at the open. Revenge traded um, duo and stocks that were not equality setups at all. Over traded the backside. Revenge traded Tesla on a day that it, it, it didn't have the parameters for me to day trade it at all, right? I not only revenge traded it, but I traded it to the short side. It was just it was just a roller coaster of emotions. But as you can see, well, and if you traded today, you probably know that we did have that parabolic mover come under the ticker of WHLR. And thankfully, that move from eight dollars to seventeen dollars, almost a ten point move was enough for me to get me in the green. So let me show you that right here. And let's review my metrics here. No pastor, no 10K, the mighty, the mighty trader like crap today. So as you can see, I am green, $2,400. But that's not how the day started. I was down almost $4,000 to start off the day. I started the day down $4,000. Trade number one, $1,000 loss rejection on duo. Trade number two, $1,000 loss rejection on duo. Trade number three, emotionally fueled. I understood that Tesla wasn't good today for the long side. So I, of course, emotionally hijacked. I go to I start short selling it. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I could ever do. A thousand dollars out the window, and then there were another few smaller losses on the other tickets like INDO, um, MULN, whichever was those size stocks that we were trading. And then all of a sudden, I found myself ten minutes into the open down four thousand dollars. What the fuck am I doing? I walked away. I called it a max loss day, and I stepped away from my trading session for maybe 30 minutes. It was very early into the morning. I was infuriated, but then something happened. My scanners were open and I started to see the high day momentum scanner start to show up WHLR, WHLR, WHLR. And I was looking at it and, and looking at it, looking at the price increase, but I, I knew that I was sitting at max laws. I knew that I was emotionally hijacked. I didn't know if I was going to be in the correct headspace to trade it, but then it got halted up. So it got halted up and I had no choice. I came back, I started with small size 
and I guess the rest is history. So I was able to pull up the, the the red to green on it from down max loss up to now at, you know, daily go, I guess. But at the end of the day, today was a failure of a day because my mental account is in, the, is, is in max loss. I broke all of my rules. I broke all of my rules, right? So today is a losing day that made me money. Let's think of it like that. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's just embarrassing. I don't even want to show you which are the fucking shorts, <laughs> which are the short trades I was taking on Tesla. Duo, brutal sell off. Just brutal sell offs. And because I refuse to trade the penny stock, was it this? Yeah, we had so in the grand scheme of things, our leading gapper should have been ICCT. But the reality is that we have been brainwashed to think that this is an equality setup. We are in a market in which we, we haven't seen any leading gap there out of the open hold up. We haven't seen any relevant breaking news. We haven't seen any percentage gainer over 100%. Instead, we are in a bottom barrel market in which whichever is the ticker in the gap scanner that looks the least bad, that's going to be the one we're going to revenge trade all day long. That is a terrible mindset to be in because being the least bad doesn't mean that it's good enough for you to fucking day trade it. And of course, I'm preaching about this. I'm, rent I'm ranting about this on my YouTube videos, in the chat room. And of course, I am the moron that starts to go against everything I'm, everything I'm preaching, right? I start to revenge trade do. I start to revenge trade INDO. Everything looked like crap. I shouldn't have traded any of this. Look at these, look at these sell-offs. This is a stock that had no news three days ago. And that here we are beating the dead horse because there's nothing else to trade. And not only that, after taking a few big losses, I'm revenge trading the backside on a third day, no news continuation crapper. And that's why I was so upset at myself. Oh, and then on top of that, I started to revenge trade Tesla, right? And to the short size, to the short side. So the disappointment on the decision making in today's trading session was what triggered me today. It wasn't, it wasn't even really the big losses. It was just like, Marcelo, what are you doing, man? Grab a mirror, look at it, and, and, and what the fuck do you see? An idiot? Uh you know, oh my god, today was a roller coaster of emotions, as mentally draining as yesterday, or even worse. WHLR. But anyways, I dug myself a massive hole. I was looking to close down the day for a thousand dollars. But then again, gap scan uh my momentum scanner started to fire up WHLR. WHLR. Alright, so I pulled it up. Instantly, the first thing I check is the float. It has a micro float of under 1 million shares. I'm like, okay, good. That is one check in my criteria. Number two, the price range. Another check. Number three, breaking news. No breaking news. All right, that's sketchy. But I'm emotionally hijacked, so that's good enough. And then check number four is hold it up. So me breaking the ice on the ticker, it is going to be out of a hold. It was halted up right here. Hold it up. It resumes. It dips. I buy that dip. 1,400 shares. It rips over a dollar share in my favor. My first trade on it, $1,500. From there, I continue to trade it. Continue to buy the one-minute pullbacks. Continue to, continue to buy the support tests. Continue to do all the above, all the MMU edges, high day breakouts, ascending, ascending support tests, panic flushes, dips. We actually had a false halt down somewhere here that I actually had a, a nice winner on. Psychological level breakout of half and half dollars, 16, 17. And for a slight second, I was able to get in the zone on today's trading session and made over $5,000 on the ticker. Even though I have the self-awareness and enough experience to still be able to recognize good quality setups while being emotionally hijacked, the reality is that today 
could have been a disaster. So much so that I'm going to put myself in try to rehab tomorrow. Reduce size. Heightened discipline. I'm going to have the goal to sit tight for the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of the open and there's nothing good to trade. I'm going to be very picky about the stocks that I trade. I'm going to be very picky about the setups that I allow myself to trade. I'm going to I'm going to be less vocal in the chat room because my toxic level my toxicity levels in the chat room have been to the roof because there hasn't been much to trade. And when I'm not trading, I'm just shit talking in the chat room. I gotta stop that. I'm just gonna bring everything back down to center. And before catastrophe happens, I'm going to stop the bleeding right here, right now. Yeah, I am green, so why am I even going to put myself in trade rehab? Well, I, I am green, I know, but today is an epic failure of a day. So, starting tomorrow, back to square one. Being tight, tight with risk management, tight with share size, tight with the type of stocks I allow myself to trade. I'm going to get green, I'm going to get out tomorrow. I'm not looking to make $100,000. I am looking to have a successful green day. And what does that mean? That means, well, actually not even green day. I'm, I'm looking to have a successful day in which I want to follow all my rules. I want to be patient. I want to follow all my strategies to the T. And if that generates a green day, good. And if that generates a red day, good. I'm looking to trade the strategy to the T and not really trade the PNL. If I'm able to successfully follow all those rules, I'm going to be satisfied, satisfied with that day and I'm going to walk away. Okay, so that's the game plan. Some people in the chat room are, tra are trading top, TOP. Let's see if we have any breaking news. Let's see what's the float about. 37 million share float. No, thank you. This is a, this was gapping up this morning. I don't remember, but I don't know. I'm done. I am mentally fried and I am one loss away from blowing up mentally and starting to revenge trade again. So I don't want to even risk that. Let's take a look at some of the other metrics here. So I took 96 trades. Take a look at the metrics here. Horrendous accuracy. I wonder why. My biggest loss, you know it, is on Tesla. My biggest winning trade. Where? 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 I think that was a different rib that I told you. But um, disastrous day. But anyways, I'm going to cut the recap here. I gotta jump on the chat room. There's a call going on here, and RT is leading the call today. These are the coaching calls that we do every single day. So I want to see how everybody else did on WHLR. And of course, I want to make myself available to answer any questions, to hang out, and to preview some live trading. If you're wondering how you can access these daily coaching calls, visit the first thing down below because we're doing our biggest sale ever. You want to see me light trade every day? You want to be part of these daily coaching calls? You want to learn my day trading strategy to the T? This is the micro scalping strategy, right? This hasn't been a, a better place to, to join right now because we're doing 40% off with coupon code COACH. This is a two-week sale and we only started it because we have, me and RT have gotten so many DMs on people asking, how can I join these calls? I want to go and ask you questions. I want to see, you know, I want to see your daily live trade, all that. Well, this is how. So check out all the products we have to offer in the Mercy's Markets program. And, you know, I would love to have you be a part of the community. But anyways, I'm going to close the recap here. And we're going to jump back into the MMU Gen Chat to hang out with MMU members. Roller coaster of a damn day. Holy crap, not again. Please, not again. Today I had it traded. Today I had it I had it trading for for a solid two hours.
today I was ready to quit trading for the rest of my life, but I was able to keep it together and push through the turbulence. But not again. Tomorrow I want to be a smooth operator. All right. Anyways, catch you tomorrow, guys.